We're happy. We're, we're excited. Today was a victorious day. Dwayne Turner holds his sister's dog, Ruby, on his lap as he and his fiance, Lindsey Brink, breathe a sigh of relief. The three men charged with murdering his sister, 27 year old singer Egypt Covington, have been bound over for trial nearly four years after her tragic death. We know that they were in this home for about four to five minutes. While they were in the home, uh, Miss Covington was bound in Christmas lights and they took a cushion off a couch and put it over her head when they shot her in the head. Prosecutors and Michigan State Police say in June of 2017, 34 year old Timothy Moore and 28 year old Shandon Groom drove up from Toledo, Ohio to meet up with Shane Evans in Sumter Township. They say Evans has confessed to leading them to a house on Hull Road in Van Buren Township where they plan to steal marijuana. But Moore and Groom went in the wrong door of the duplex, breaking into Egypt Covington's home instead. Really, you, you went into the wrong door? Yeah. And, and you chose to to murder somebody. You can't be more innocent um, th than what happened to Egypt. She was sitting on her couch watching a movie. Egypt's family had fought for years publicly and privately to have the case turned over to Michigan State Police from the Van Buren Township investigators who had named an ex-boyfriend as a person of interest early on. But Egypt's family and thousands of supporters pushed for further investigation. Justice for Egypt! It took protests and meetings and their own investigating that led last August to Michigan State Police taking over the case. At this week's preliminary exam, prosecutors presented cell phone records and GPS evidence that put the suspects at the time and place of Egypt's murder. They say the suspects also stole her cell phone, which pinged to the same location as their phones before they threw it away. Just part of the evidence they hope will finally bring about justice for Egypt. There's so many people that wanted justice um, just like we did and so that's why I mean people just grasped on and said let's do it let's go let's hit the street. Lindsay now wants the families of other crime victims to know they have a voice and they should use it. Just because someone tells you no you don't have to accept that. Try another angle try another person and there, there's always something else that can be done. The fight for justice for Egypt isn't over yet the case still has to go to trial. But those who loved this beautiful woman with the bright smile and the big voice believe they'll get there. If there's something that you take away from Egypt is to hug your loved ones, hug them, hold them near um, and get rid of that petty stuff. <laughs> yeah, because you just you never know. In Farmington Hills, Amy Lang, Fox 2 News.